Hello engineers, welcome back to Engineering Design Simplified. In this video series, I will be solving tough engineering mechanics problems. If you want to watch more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and press that bell button so that you will be notified when I upload a new video. Today's problem is a prismatic bar AB of weight Q and length L is supported at one end B by a string CB of length A and rests at A vertically below C. Against a perfectly smooth vertical wall as shown in figure. Find the position of the bar as defined by the length x for which equilibrium will be possible. In this problem given is a prismatic bar AB is as shown in figure. At one end there is a string attached and the length of the string is A and length of this bar is L and weight is Q and this distance is x and this is resting at one end of this prismatic bar is resting on this smooth wall, smooth vertical wall and here this is hinged to this string. So in this problem for this bar, for this arrangement to be in equilibrium, we need to find expression uh, between X, L and A. Let us see in the coming slides how to solve this problem. The arrangement is redrawn here. Now let us see forces and reactions. Uh, weight of the bar Q is acting downwards vertically from the center of this bar that is shown here and tension in this string CB will be acting along this string that is shown here that is T and since this uh, surface is uh, this wall is smooth wall and this is resting on this wall so reaction of the wall on this prismatic bar will be perpendicular to the wall that is shown here that is called RA. So for the system to be in equilibrium, all these three forces, uh, forces must intersect at one point. So now let us draw a line from Q uh, vertically. So that will from the center of this prism, uh, this prismatic bar, if a line is drawn vertically that is parallel to this side, that will bisect this string CB into two equal sections. So this from C to E is A by 2 and E to B is A by 2 since the total length is A. So similarly when we draw a line from RA that also must uh, join at this point so for the system to be in equilibrium. So if this side is X and from here to here is A by 2 from here to here it is A if you draw a line from here to here that is dividing this and this is x. If you draw another line from this end of the string onto this wall, so this distance will also be x. So here we have x and x. Now let us see triangle CBD, triangle C, B and D. So this side is A from C to B and this side from C to D is x plus x that is 2x and let us call this distance from D to B is y. So from this right angle triangle CBD we can write a square minus y square equal to 2x whole square. So from this uh, we can write a square minus y square equal to 4x square. Let us call that equation 1. Now let us see another triangle, triangle A B and D again. So this triangle A, B, D. So this side is X, this side is L and this side is Y. So from this right angle triangle again uh, A, B, D we can, we can write Y square equal to L square minus X square. Let us call that equation 2. Now let us substitute equation 2 in equation 1. We get A square minus L square plus X square equal to 4 X square. So we get from this after simplification a square minus l square equal to 3x square. So from this x can be written as x equal to square root of a square minus l square by 3. That's all for today's video. If you like this content please like share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.